<laughs> Welcome back to your favorite podcast. This is a couple pines pod. Um, so that's rock and roll. This week we are back again. We hope you liked our Cherno IO episode. Uh, we're both sleepy because we did way too many tricep curls today. Uh, oh, they're burning. They're on. I didn't. Fire. I didn't ask before we started. How heavy? Do you, how heavy do you go with that? Well, I just work out in our little school gym, so the heaviest of dumbbells go there is fifty. So I use the rope, and I'll do. When I was working out yesterday, my top set I did was. 80 yikes ups I was make doing, sure to spread it top i was doing 35s today and i was like fucking kill me but also i'm new to the gym i'm a frail little boy. gotta work out those 24 inch pythons brother yeah they're like fucking six inch pythons all right uh new band name call it um Today, Colin has a topic for us, and we're going to see how fucking knowledgeable we can sound, because neither of us know jack shit about what we're about to talk about. No, but this is wild. This is I, crazy. I know, but when you first sent it to me, we didn't do it last week, because I was like, yeah, dude, shit happens. This shit happens. Wait, so are but you going to play a thing? Am I going to put a tick? Am I going to put a TikTok up here? No, I'm just I'm just getting it up here so I make sure I have it right. Yeah, but you know when you play stuff, we put the video and then the Oh, that is true. Are you gonna we, do we the do. thing? Because we could do that now, or are you just gonna Oh yeah, we'll, oh, yeah we'll, we'll do that thing. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do that. It's the science off, behind off this complete Fire reversal of, of the magnetic of poles. poles. This has happened throughout millions and millions of years. This is mainstream science. The poles do flip. But it's not that the Earth flips over. It's that the inside core does, and so your magnetic compass will flip. We know two things right now is that the, the pole is moving. Even the South Pole might be off of Antarctica at this point, like the magnetic south. And then the magnetic field consequently to this movement is weakening. The magnetic field is what protects us from solar flares and cosmic radiation and all this stuff. It's getting weaker faster. So we seem to be heading towards an unknown or undetermined time where the poles may shift. Are there any estimates when. on when this could possibly take place? According to every article I ever read, like, oh, don't worry, it's probably be another thousand years. I'm yeah. like, you have no idea what you're talking about. It's accelerating. What's the sun? Yeah, idiot. And there it is. Okay, first, can we talk about the music? Because that's every video you send me has that exact song on it. I don't under understand it. why. I'm pretty sure that was the Avatar song, too. It, it most likely was. Wah, I mean, it's, it's, it works with every video. Conspiracy. Wah, 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 wah. Um, so, yeah, the song, funny as fuck. Uh, also, I love the bit. Before we really dive into the core huh, of this episode. Ooh, look at you. Um, that was totally intentional. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love when Rogan is like, "Is there an estimate?" And the guy's like, "Well, according to every article I've ever read, like, how many fucking articles are you reading about this, dude? Is it like my thought when he said that was like, do you exist for this? You've never read anything else. You've never read the Berenstein Bears, brother." That's a rough life. If anyway. you're only reading those research articles and you never got to experience the bears. According to every article I've ever read. Well, you see, Joe. Well, I guess we can make fun of him because reading all those articles did get him on, on Joe Rogan. So. And not to mention what he's talking about is something that has effects that I don't think any scientists understand. Well, some do. I mean, I some I understand hope. it loosely. I would like to hope there are some scientists at NASA who are like, yeah, if the magnetic poles shift and we're a free fucking game on the universe and all the shit floating around in it, we need some way to combat that. Who? Who? It's also, I feel like I spoke over the whole, because I was making fun of the thing. Um, what we're talking about today is Colin has discovered... 
And if you haven't heard, because I also saw it before he brought this up to me, that the Earth's magnetic poles, not physical poles, yeah, magnetic no, poles we're are not f- flipping. <clears throat> but the magnetic poles are flipping Our because core. because the inner core, all that hot, hot nickel and magma that's r- keeping magma. us keeping us all together is slowly rotating upside down. So basically what the concern is before Talon goes on a tangent is uh, that it's going to reach its a place where the poles are on like the sides and mm. the con- the concern is then space debris and all this other shit that oh. the, the pole basically our magnetic poles are like a force field right mm-hmm. so when there's big asteroids or comets or shit the poles intercept it and then it just bounces off <laughs> but the concern is when they start spinning, because who knows how long that's going to take, like to actually flip, and then north becomes south and south becomes north. There's going to be a period in that flip where we don't have a force field, and then like you could have like a dinosaur extinction, but with humans. There we go. All so right, man, cool. Just summed everything up for this us has and been. Everyone. A couple of pine spot. No, so but you have shit to say about this. Unless I ruined everything, then we can just restart and we'll go crazy. No, because every I wonder if this was a a slim and this is me speculating. Yeah. A, a cause to every single one of the natural disasters that has wiped out huge chunks of history for humanity oh well even you say that even recently i mean we had the earthquake in turkey then today there was like a a 6.8 something earthquake in like somewhere in asia fuck i forget the headline i read but it was like pretty close to turkey in terms of like geographic location shout out thailand yeah dude uh, again shouts out Thailand. hopefully <laughs> hopefully it wasn't you because then there goes our whole fan base Jeez. That, that was insensitive um <laughs> but no i mean if the center of the world was shifting all that hot hot good gooey magma has to go somewhere <clears throat> and what causes Double earthquake earthquakes are caused by shifts under the earth <laughs> uh, But I like what you're saying is like this mass extinction thing, which is what a lot of theorists such as ourselves are concerned about. You can't you can't prevent that. I mean, it's one thing like an asteroid hits and takes out like fucking North America. And then the rest of the world is like, thank God, those guys are fucking assholes. Good Lord. It's about time. But it's another thing if like an asteroid the size of North America hits North America and then nukes the entire world and then boom, dinosaurs. All over. Just a fresh, a fresh clean slate wiped. Can't do anything about it. Just a, a, a random event that happens. Yeah. However many millions of years. Eons, one might no, say. No rhyme, no reason. It's just if you just happen to be at the point in your civilization where you're not able to get off planet when it happens and then come back when it settles. Well, well, the settle is like billions of years, billions and billions of years (laughs) or not billions, but at least millions because the dinosaurs are like at this point, hundreds of millions of years ago. I'm sure at that point we'd be able to cryo freeze. And have like a giant space anchor. Well, let's let's do this then. Earth. Let's do this then. That point could be any day now because the shift has already started. So here's where Colin comes in. Do you think I'll give you options and then you expand on them? Do you think yes. A, all the elites jump on a big rocket ship with Bezos and a big rocket ship with Musk and they all blast off to survive this mm. Armageddon? Interesting. B all the world elites cryo freeze. And like you said, like somehow blast off, but are still tethered. So no one has to be awake. And then they come back when everything's safe. C, no one can do jack shit and we all die. Or D, like Joe Rogan said, this takes tens of thousands of years and we won't be alive to see it. 
Uh, I like to think it's the first one because then we'd be able to tie it into all of these random craft flying around. Because what if they're all the test models? All Ooh. the test models that they're trying to perfect. That well, not, once not, they go hack. Not the balloons, right? The other shit no, no, we were no. talking about last week. Yeah, the like government's the, the like silver pods. We, the, we the shot random... down. We shot down a fucking uh, silver disc that was not man-made materials. Exactly. Yeah. All those are just trial. The runs. way you think they're trial and error. Like, yep. let's see if we could even get out before we get shot down. Yep. But, but they're also... sending the reverse engineered stuff out now to see how perfect it is. To see if it'd be able to sit there on autopilot for however long as the humans are in well, Where is it sitting? Like just outside of Earth? It'd have to. How else would be it, it technically be tethered? Bro, you got to come back to New York from Syracuse. You just sounded so goddamn Canadian. <laughs> oh, sorry there, bud. Oh, it'd have to. It'd have to, eh? It'd have to. It's, where it's else stuck they go? right there. Um. Well, the tether would be, it wouldn't be like a legitimate thing holding it to the earth. Because if no. we got hit by some giant space thing when the shields are down, the literal shields are down, Um, obviously the tether's going with it. And then they're just floating through space. Exactly. So Which this- shouts out episode fucking like three or whatever. That could be the moon base. Morons on the moon. Morons on the moon that I shot down could be a real thing. Maybe they're all going to go cryo. All the richest elite fucks are going to go cryo on the moon while we all get wiped out. You know what else I've been randomly seeing pop up? Is that scientists are noticing the moon is moving further away from Earth. It's starting to inch itself back. The moon's like, nah, I've had enough of this shit. Well, if the moon is technically a spaceship. What if that is tied to rising tide, rising sea levels. The moon's like, whoa, tide's getting higher. I got to back the fuck up. It's too much. This is too much for my gravitational pull, bro. I got to back up. Or maybe the moon is a sentient being and it knows that a giant asteroid is going to hit the earth. And when it does, Instead of just sheer Armageddon, it'll break off another chunk of the Earth that floats into space that creates a secondary moon. And now the moons have to battle it out for... Sur- I don't fucking know. And then that becomes a new WWE SummerSlam special, brother. Oh, that's raw, brother. And that's the moon, raw brother. Raw is war, brother. Here at WCW, we have the old right side of the moon versus the new left side of the moon. Well, no, it'd be Moon 1 v. Moon 2. Moon 1 and Moon 2 are clashing it out for the the ultimate battle. In the ultimate battle of the tides. You know what else? If the moon is moving back, you remember uh, morons on the moon, and we said we had the bases because the moon could be uh, a base itself. Well, wait, you said that. I did say that. I said, I said, no, no, no. So continue your point. (laughs) If it is, and it's starting to move back, well, what? Are, I wonder if they're moving it back to a safe space. So you think humans are moving it back? Well, no, dude. We went over in episode three that the moon is a well, space, space for all different races just to come and use it as like a big old party hub. Oh, yeah, the truck stop. That's right. Moving it back so what? The party doesn't end? Exactly. The you party's think, safe. Do, do you think when the poles are flipping, we get hit by something big that it's going to be like the Death Star explosion? Or just like Armageddon, but within Earth's atmosphere? I'd like to, to, to hope that when an asteroid does come down and it does cause that impact, the glass dome that surrounds our flat Earth gets broken oh my through God. and we all get sucked out. Into that was another point thing. I was going to make was now flat earthers that don't have diddly shit fucking jack jackass bullshit to stand on because like how are you going to refute that the poles are shifting if you can literally s- see it on a compass? No, dude, we're just rotating the square board. That's all. We're, we're just we're rotating just, the board. The fucking algorithm of the Rubik's Cube has been busted, brother. Well, actually, that would make us just a square, not flat. But you get what I'm saying. 
that means guy. we'd have four hey, this, sides, brother. This guy gets it, whoever's watching. Squares. See, see, if we had four sides, that means we'd have our area. That's one surface of the square. And then there'd be three, four, five other areas on the square, brother. Well, wouldn't that make us a... I was going to say something. I don't know what it See, means, when the meta so powers of the world unite, brother, we get Tartaria. What? And that's when that's wait. What's land, that? Brother. What's Tartaria? Isn't that a video game? No, no, no. no. That uh, what that, the fuck is Tartaria? It's an old theory that states why the fuck haven't we ever talked about floods? it? Floods. Oh, because it's a mud flood theory. Oh, I shot and that Tartaria. Down real quick. Tartaria was what was going on before the mud floods, and or was... Uh, or was it Tartaria is a a section of new continents that. We uh discovered, but then it was swept under the rug, and I'd have to look it back up. But yeah, so it's like the black sheep of Pangea, I believe. I, I'd I'd have to look it back up, but yeah, it's either mud flood or the stepsister of Pangea. Whoa, is she stuck in the fucking washing machine, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Step Gia, what are you doing? <laughs> uh. Wait, so what are we talking about? Oh, yeah, the poles shifting. So, <laughs> well, the other thing is, I don't necessarily believe in, like, the shield breaking theory, because it's like, I'll try and find, like, a visual representation, because I know I saw one in, like, Earth Science in eighth grade, and maybe I'll put it here. But if you look at it, like it's like any magnetic field picture where like you have the poles and then all this, like the magnetic stuff is coming off of it. That's what protects us. So if they were rotating, like why would they just break at some point? You know, like wouldn't it essentially the shield just like be turned sideways, but it would still be a shield until it all reversed. Well, don't they say it's tighter near the poles and then bows out on the sides? I mean, yeah, but... So I wonder if it gets to a point where the two short sides get to where the wide is. They're too short to be at the wide, and the pressure just causes the break. I wish we had an animator to animate that sentence. (laughs) Um, I don't know, though. Because it's not like we live on an oval. Like, it's a sphere. Well, we're a so sphere, if the poles, but... but if the poles were instead of north and south, east and west, wouldn't it just be the same thing? It would, or maybe, maybe, because mm-hmm. a lot of shit that bounces off of us is either at the North Pole or the South Pole. So maybe the bows, like the, are weaker than the poles, and so if like there was a bow over the north instead of a pole like shit could enter more easily we're Mm. fucking hey taiwan we're idiots (laughs) (laughs) it's (laughs) and will and fucking uh what's your cousin's name again mike matt mike big mike Mike. big mike big mike mike if you're watching this comment below about how much you tricep curl actually will crutchfield daryl Will Crutchfield doesn't fucking tricep curl. No shit. You're right. But... He uses his bicep and forearm to paint and take finessed pictures. Oh, he's been making moves, dude. We got to get him back on. We should probably release that episode we did with him and never released. If you're a wealthy human individual, you should go purchase one of his pieces. Yeah. Because you'd be I, astonished. I mean, I mean I'm not... <laughs> astonishing. <laughs> Uh, I'm not wealthy, and I purchased one once, and then gave it to someone for fucking free, dude. That's called the free market, brother. That's called gift giving, brother. That's called happy birthday. What? That's a wedding gift, brother. What? Happy rest of your life joining day. Okay, so the other thing is polls reverse, right? I guess. Then do we then do we have to let's say it all goes well we're fine the shield doesn't break the bows protect us everything skips off we're all good do we have to like reshape 
not literally, but mentally, like, reshape the entire globe? Is the North Star now the South Star? Well, I'm also thinking... Are we, are we now the Far East and Asia is the, is the West? Yeah, it's not going to be like a sort of situation it's probably going to be a slow <laughs> gradual crawl so i wonder if well yeah it's not just overnight the have, poles don't just fucking every continent's going to have a weather shift so well, did do, do Africa... the poles do poles affect the weather i don't think so well I don't, I don't know see is it just the equator line that affects it or is it well the sun the, the, the sun affects shift? the weather do the Poles effect weather. Wow. Okay. My phone's listening to me. Changes and shifts in Earth's magnetic field polarity don't impact weather for Ooh, fundamental okay. reason. Oh, it literally says air isn't magnetic. So Fair. if it doesn't affect the weather, um, then we shouldn't have any crazy changes except uh natural disasters and asteroids but i'm saying you'd have to rename like then north america south america south america is north america i mean technically you could leave everything as then does is. then does canada and alaska and the north pole become the great white south whoa whoa Ooh, leaping, hey. leaping, hey. leaping hey. south on that one <laughs> south will rise again Oh, cutting that out. Uh, <laughs> no, but seriously, like, because then it's not like, it, look, we all know this. Everyone fucking knows this. Humans are fucking stupid. So, like, <laughs> if we change us. it, if we change it, everything becomes chaos. But if we don't change it, then you, you're you going to have, like, fucking planes and cars and shit driving the wrong direction, like, crashing into like fucking god knows what you know that is all gps would be just completely screwed well you'd have to drive actively opposite of your gps that's what i'm saying like there are these huge factors <clears throat> that if it were to happen and the south pole actually becomes the north pole and like it said it would affect compasses oh man and it's not like computerized GPS is relying on compasses. I'm sure this is just us being couple pine spot. I'm sure GPS would be fucking fine. But like in theory, wouldn't we have to rename everything if now south is north, north is south, west is east, east is west? Yeah. And that's the natural disaster that destroys humanity. Whoop. That's the Whoop. apocalypse, brother. There it is, brother. That, that's the end of days, brother. We just found out. Hold on. What else does, like, magnetism affect? In terms of the poles. I guess the north... Well, what? The northern lights, brother. <sighs> well, if, it, if the inner core shifting... If it really is starting, bro, to imagine cause... imagine seeing Northern Lights like over Egypt. That'd be trippy as fuck. That'd be sick. Because also be based insane. off the other thing you showed me, how the pole like is already shifting the South Pole kind of up towards South America. If I could find the picture, we'll put it here. Then that means the North Pole would go down like over, essentially like Africa. Ooh, that'd be crazy. Dude, Egypt would become the biggest proposal spot on Earth. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. What do you mean? Proposing no, in front it's of the like... three periods with the Aurora Borealis behind you in a oh, picture? Oh, yeah, not facts. You're right. You're that's right. The, that's, that proposal picture is liked by every single person on Earth. The first person who does it, that picture, they're being cropped out of that picture, and that picture's becoming the screensaver on every Microsoft computer on Earth. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Fuck. God damn it. You're right. My old thing was going to be like, no one goes to the fucking Northern Lights to propose, but that's because it's miserable up there. If they were in a fucking desert, I'd be there right now proposing. I might go set up a shack and just live out there. God just lives under the pyramids. 
Well, hey guys, today I am coming live from King Tut's tomb. I'm coming live from one of the inner six chambers. Welcome back to Couple Pints Pod Radio. Today we are live from King Tut's sarcophagus. Colin, what do you got going on for us today in Egypt? Well, J Mac, you see, it's pretty hot and steamy here. Are the polls <laughs> gonna are the polls gonna affect our voices? I, it'll make everyone talk like one of those old style movie gangsters. They'll start really high, start really fast, and as the sentence Ooh. closes, it'll get slower. Let's see for the sake of stuff. Uh what happens? When the polls shift. It's just an article of everything we've said. <laughs> During poll reversal, the magnetic field weakens, but it doesn't completely disappear. The magnetosphere, together with Earth's atmosphere, continue protecting the Earth. Let's go from cosmic rays and solar particles. Though there may be a small amount of radiation that makes it to Earth's surface. We are fucked. <laughs> small amount? I don't think so. Oh, and that's off climate.nasa.gov, baby. Bringing you the most official. Can I save this GIF as a great GIF? No, I'm not going to. Maybe I will. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Completely flip every 300,000 years or so. So if it just started, we're not going to be alive to actually see it. That's sad. Well, wanna... At least we get to live through it. I want to see it, but also at least the sun's not going to like nuke the shit out of us. Because our whole theory on I I've, drink to that. I forgot. <laughs> hey, cheers, brother. Cheers. Um, Because we were saying like debris and shit, but the northern lights are just literal like nuclear radiation coming off the sun and bouncing off the magnetic poles or pole. No. No, no, dude. It's it's the dome. It's reflecting from the dome that God covers our. It's the God dome, it. dude. God damn it! What's with you in this dome, bro? Two weeks in a row with the dome. We're we're in a dome. It sounds like Colin needs some dome, bro. We're in a dome. I thought my the joke. Real I thought my joke Earth. was good. I did. what? I could. The real owner of Earth. <laughs> It's Doug Dimmadome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmadome. Owner of Dimmadale Dimmadome. I'm Doug Dimmadome, owner of Dimsdale Dimmadome. His hat is actually true north. <laughs> whoa, now we're whoa, now we're talking, brother. What the fuck are we even talking about? I derailed. And went I mean, right I for Doug Dimmadome. I didn't help. That wasn't the derailment. We've been. Silly for a while. For I mean, I mean, we are down. we are in the top fifty comedy podcasts in Thailand, so like we do have to get a little silly. It can't just be in hard facts all the time. We gotta sprinkle in a little goofy. Fuck! What does Schultz call it? Feelings, no facts. Mm, that's where right. They, where they take topics like this and then do what we're doing, except they're actually all legitimate comedians who are funny. Very funny people. I bet you they're not top 50 in Thailand because we fucking took their spot. That's right. That's right. Thailand. We love you. Dude, we should move there. That's what we should do. I've been thinking take about over, that. Take over. Take over Thailand. Uh, well, can't be a white guy saying take over Thailand. I don't just, think that works anymore. Just meant in the realm of podcasting. <laughs> so. All right. Putting chemicals in the water. Pulse so the, reversing. So the magnetic poles are making the frogs gay. Making the frogs gay. What was I going to say about gay frogs? Uh, I had a point. Why do I keep clicking my tongue? Pisses me off. You're getting ready. No, I'm reverting back to the old days. No, you're getting ready for the peanut butter sandwich. You're about we to eat. we have to watch the documentary before we record. Not cutting that out. 
if you're a real fan, you know what we're talking about, even though you don't, because the whole spiel we went on about it, I cut out. <laughs> oh, good gravy. We've come a long way. Not really. Come from the bottom to the mountain peak. We kind of went backwards with the whole Zoom thing. I. We went backwards to take a few steps forward because now people are realizing that they're still getting the same amount of love and laughs out of Zoom episodes. Yeah, that's true. I just, I just miss you, pal. Even though it's I not, it, it's not your fault. We had to go just to Zoom because I can't reach out. And... I know. This home is not a home. <laughs> if you... <laughs> this grill is not a grill without you. The studio is not a studio. It's actually very messy because you don't come here anymore. I would turn the camera, but it's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to show them. Um, I'm embarrassed. Yeah, you know, we're working on it. Big, big things. <laughs> I'm shy. <laughs> oh, mustache. Yeah, just... Mustache got itchy. We're having a lot of fun. Also, fun fact. Yes. Fun fact. Did is it you know, actually a fun fact? It is a fun fact. Okay. Did you know that the merchandise that we have through a couple pints pod is actually one of the best Easter gifts you can give a significant other? Is that the next holiday? Why'd you say <laughs> Easter? Because I'm pretty sure Easter is the next holiday. Whatever Colin said. I agree. Great Easter gift. Dude, Buy we should it. make I'm making Easter merch. Ooh. I forgot about the merch. You guys should buy some merch. It's great merch. It's I just very, very good. Dude, merch. I just watch washed. Oh, it's over there. I just washed uh my crew neck. And it's this... like brand fucking new. I thought it, genuinely I was I washed it and I was like, it's going to fuck up the graphic. Like because I thought since, you know, it's so affordable. That it, the quality wasn't up to par. And then I took it out of the washing machine. I was like, this looks better than when I fucking bought it. That's where our prices get you. Just because our prices are so affordable doesn't mean the fabric that we're giving you isn't the top quality. Ooh, it just got me. <laughs> Ooh, it just got me. Do you know that video, the Q QVC guy with the samurai sword? Ooh, it just got me. No. no. Oh, I'll send it to you when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Um, but yeah, Easter, I mean birthdays. There's a lot of birthdays coming up. Uh shouts out my boy Garrett, who definitely isn't watching this. His birthday's coming up. Maybe I'll get him some merch. Imagine uh, how happy your brother or sister would be to wake up to a couple pints short sleeve because the weather's ooh. gonna start getting warmer. A couple pints royal blue hey, or beautiful red. Or pink. Or, or black, pink. or, or black. white, or I think there's a green one. Yeah, yeah, dude. What about fanny packs are coming back? Joe Rogan's bringing fanny packs back. Great we got great stuffers. Bro, hey, a couple pints got fanny packs out the ass, sign. <laughs> yeah, the colors in the the colors in the packs. We got your back. Also, comment below if I should make more of these and people actually buy them this time. I mean, I'm not lying. How? When did we make those koozies? How, like, would it be two know. years ago now? I genuinely don't know. I want to say it's going on about two years ago. We and literally got shit-faced one night, and we're like, let's make koozies. We and then koozies. we had 15 of them. I think I sold literally one, and then I gave the rest away. Yeah. The foam on that koozie? Still as thick as the day I got it. Faded yeah, bro. a little bit. No, mine still looks fine. But that's just because I use the, my koozie for everything. The top's a little frayed, but I literally take this. Like, when I leave, ski trips, beach trip. Like, I take this thing literally. If I know I'm drinking not in my house, I take this with me. That's not even me, like, trying to sell shit or, like, Dude, like this is so fucking used. I should probably wash it. But I can you wash a koozie? I don't know. I don't know. But if you've made it this far in the video, when we 
Tell no me one, you. no one has. Taiwan, buy some merch, dude. We would go if you have Instagram over there. Go to the Couple Pints Pod Instagram. What do you mean if they have Instagram in Taiwan? They do. I never see any of their posts. So I, do I don't you know. look? I haven't, but I should. But go to it. We got a link right there. Click the merch link. It'll bring you right to where you need to be. Well, there's no koozies on the merch link. No, but, uh, no, no, no. Those, uh, those, if people comment and say, yeah, I'd get a koozie. Do we have well, hats? We should make some hats. We tried to. We tried to make beanies. Oh, yeah, and they all sucked. Yeah. They all sucked and fucked each other right out of our store. Okay. Fucking each other. The hats on fucking Teespring are making the frogs gay. Oh, he's... Oh, and they're making the hats. The, oh, the hats. Chemicals. And, 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 and. Frogs gay. Um, that being said, we have, what, a minute 40 left? Do you want to close it out? Yeah, let's let's wrap her up, big dog. All right, little dog. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> All right, do your fucking... Oh. Unless you want to, do you want to, do you want to come up with the, the end tag? Let's run a couple. I'll probably cut none of it out. This has been. Couple Pines Pot. It's safe to say. If the poles flip, you're probably going to have to grab onto someone's hip and thrust in to hold on. Unless you're in a strip club, then you have to tip more. There's one. No, that you gotta. I, I don't fucking know. If the polls flip, fucking just like and subscribe and all that shit. Well, if the polls flip, we'll become the number one podcast in all of America. Well, if the polls one, if the polls flip, I might have to dip out with the cryonesis to space with the rich folk to the moon, and then we back up and up from the earth, and the tides rise, but they actually oh! get lower because the moon is backing up oh. and further and. Up, fucking, son. fucking! What rhymes with further is? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost, I almost <laughs> said fear her. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Why won't it end? Bye. bye.